Today on Running to Him. 2,600 years ago, Solomon commented on our time. Today we will read Proverbs chapters 29 and 30 and concentrate on Proverbs 29 verses 7 through 9. Proverbs 29, 7 through 9 says, The righteous is concerned for the rights of the poor. The wicked does not understand such concern. Scorners set a city aflame, but wise men turn away anger. When a wise man has controversy with a foolish man, the foolish man either rages or laughs, and there is no rest. As I read today's reading, these three verses stood up and slapped me across the face. Looking at today's society, we find all three aspects is clearly presented. So I began to ask myself exactly why three responses were found. I could only conclude that our society is evenly mixed with good and bad. Verse 7 states that the righteous are concerned with the poor's needs. We find that both the poor and the left and poor the right are concerned with those needs. Yet, there are two distinct focal points as to why they're concerned. Obviously, what I'm about to write is a broad generality. The left is generally more concerned with the vocal with the poor's needs. They are focused on the disparity between the rich and the poor, the housing conditions, and possibly crime in poorer neighborhoods. The right also feels that there is a problem in the poor neighborhoods, and they are willing to help through charities such as the Salvation Army, food banks, church with clothing closets, and supplemental monetary needs. But the right places the emphasis on personal responsibility, and the left places its emphasis on society's need to help without suggesting or demanding change. This divergence in thinking creates tensions as the left tells the poor that the right seeks to keep them down, whereas in reality, the left wants to keep the poor dependent so they will continue to vote for the people who give them a freebies without demanding responsibility. The righteous follower of God seeks to help people to change and not to keep them bound to the system that causes them to fail. The righteous want the poor to succeed, and the unrighteous want the political power. It has little to do with race and more to do with dominance. The first years of the 2020s produced the Black Lives Matter riots, and these riots were supposedly in response to the maltreatment of the black population by the police, and they used George Floyd's death as a catalyst. Indeed, his death was tragic, and possibly the police could have done other things to prevent his death. However, the autopsy results were changed to not reflect the amount and kinds of drugs that were in the system, thereby removing any of George Floyd's responsibility for the condition that led to his death. Whole swaths of cities were burned and robberies were excused because of a narrative that was tainted. This excusatory thinking continues today. The scorners desire destruction. The wise seek change through discussion. I watched a little of the congressional hearing that was held concerning anti-Semitism on three elite college campuses. The college presidents who were confronted by growing as anti-Semitic thinking either denied the situation under the guise of free speech or attempted to interject situational ethics into the argument saying, it depends on the circumstances. They all were smirking, thinking that this was a game to be played. Interestingly, when the president of Harvard returned to the campus, she put out a statement saying that she was misunderstood, and of course they were concerned. Now, real honestly, the reason for the explanation was that many large donors and businesses had now told her that they would give no money to hire graduates from Harvard. The foolish scoff at truth and denigrate those who hold to it. Thank you for listening. We pray that today's devotion was meaningful to you. We would love to hear from you. You can use either Facebook or YouTube to like, subscribe, share, and tell others about us. If you would like to contact us, you can reach me at PhineasJacobus at runningtohim.net.